Performance Max is a total black box where you can't see where your spend is going. Right? Wrong. In today's video, I'm going to show you a trick that allows you to calculate exactly where Performance Max is actually spending your money. This method works right now, but you never know when Google will shut the door on tricks like these. So I wanted to share it with you guys as soon as possible. If you're new here, my name is Daryl and I run an e-commerce PPC agency where we manage hundreds of thousands of dollars of spend a month across Performance Max and other campaigns for our clients. Once you've learned this trick, you will be able to see exactly how much money Pmax is spending on shopping, video and others. If Pmax is just wasting a ton of money on video instead of focusing on shopping like you wanted it to, you will know. If you've had a performance drop recently, you'll be able to figure out if this was, for instance, due to Pmax spending less on shopping, and you'll be able to see how this spend distribution changes over time, giving you a better clue as to where changes in your performance may be coming from. We'll need to do a bit of simple maths for this, so I'd suggest opening up both Google Ads and either Excel or Google Sheets. I download the data from your Performance Max campaigns and add it to the spreadsheet to make the calculations a bit easier too. Okay, you can do this by clicking the download button above your list of campaigns in the All Campaigns screen and exporting as a CSV or Google Sheet. Make sure you include video views and average cost per view in your columns before you download. If you can't see these, make sure you have at least one YouTube campaign live. And if you don't, you can make a dummy campaign so Google knows to show you video metrics. Let's start by working out the total we've spent on Performance Max campaigns so we can see spend from other networks as a percentage of that. You can do that by filtering to Performance Max under campaign type or by expanding the total account row at the bottom of the page and looking at Performance Max campaigns there. Whack the total into your spreadsheet so we have it for later. Now, here's the trick for working out how much we've spent on video campaigns. Although Google doesn't explicitly tell us how much we've spent on video placements, it does tell us how many video views it recorded and how much each one cost. That's why we downloaded the video views and cost per view earlier. To work out the spend for video ads, it's as simple as taking the total number of video views and multiplying it by the average cost per view. Now we've got our spends for video. We can divide that by the total we've spent on performance max campaigns to give us the percentage that Google has served on video placements. This is a good start, but how do we work out how much Google has spent on shopping placements as well? Luckily, this is even easier if you know where to look. Go back into Google Ads and click on the performance max campaign you want to analyze. Once you're on campaign level, click on the listing group on the menu on the right. At the top, you'll see the cost for all products, which is the total shopping spend in that Performance Max campaign. Then, simply repeat the same process of dividing shopping spend by the total spend to give you the percentage that's been spent on shopping. Once you've worked out the spend on video and shopping, you can work out the remaining cost in your spreadsheet which will cover what's been spent across display, search, and other networks. While we don't have visibility over these quite yet, there are still some valuable actions we can take off the back of what we now know. Let's say that a large proportion of the campaign's delivery has gone towards video, when this used to only make up a small percentage of spend when you ran the campaigns manually. In this case, we can conclude that the video creative we're running could probably be optimized given that Google's identified high intent users as being on this network, but the ads aren't connecting. This is really helpful for knowing where to prioritize creative resource. The same thinking goes for shopping. If the majority of spend has gone here, I'd prioritize your time toward improving the listings you have live. Another powerful way to use this information is in analyzing performance drops. If your Pmax results have suddenly declined and you're scratching your head as to why, calculate where the spend was going before and after the change in performance. Did spend on videos suddenly go up or spend on shopping suddenly came down? at the same time as your performance drop. 
Well, that there could be the culprit. As I mentioned, Google have a tendency to close loopholes like this, so I'd use this trick as soon as you can to gather some learnings around how Google is serving your campaigns. It's entirely possible that the ability to see video views and cost per view for Pmax campaigns will disappear in the near future. Remember, if you found this video helpful and want to see more quick tricks for your Google campaigns from me in the future, then make sure to like this video and subscribe now so I know to keep this kind of content coming.